Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have the brand new China Glaze Paint It Black collection, which they have released for the Halloween season, which consists of a whole bunch of different black themed polishes. So we've got some black mattes, glitters, sparkles, holos. We got a little bit of everything. So let's get right into the swatches. Okay, so first up we have Shadies and Gentlemen, which is a matte black polish. And I'm just going to start off by saying I think there's something off with my bottle. I don't think this is necessarily what you're going to find in a Sally's because mine kind of behaves as a crackle, as you guys are going to slowly see as it dries. It's really odd and not what ex is expected at all. And another thing to note is that this bottle is not matte like you see in the stores, which is like another thing that I know the bottle doesn't matter, but I feel like there's something off with this one for whatever reason. Like, I'm not sure you can see, but right here it's kind of done the pulley crackle thing, but it's kind of hard to see. So, but there is one coat. It's almost full coverage and we're going to go ahead and do a second coat to get rid of those little marks towards the tip. Okay, so now it is time for our second coat of Shadies and Gentlemen, which is a really fun name. And, you know, this isn't behaving as bad as it did when I swatched it, because when I swatched it, it, like, really crackled. And this time it's not doing as bad. So maybe it was just something in the air that day. I don't know. But there is two coats. It kind of, like, it dries down to a matte finish, as you guys can obviously tell. However, like... It doesn't feel like a smooth appearance on the nails, so I feel like I might want to go ahead and put on a matte top coat or a shiny top coat, whatever I'm feeling, just to kind of give it a complete look because I kind of feel like you can see the like brush strokes, but not like tiny little thin lines, but just kind of like divots, if that makes any sense. But there is two coats of Shadies in it, gentlemen. Now we're on to Malibu Boo, which is a black linear holo, or hollow, however you say it. I know people have different opinions on that, so. <laughs> so there is one coat. As you can see, it covers really nicely. It is still a bit sheer in spots, so we will need two coats, but two coats is perfectly fine by me. So there is one coat of Malibu Boo. Okay, it's now time for that second coat of Mali Boo Boo, which I feel like I should probably drag out the boos, you know, make it very ghost-like, but apparently I like talk really fast in these videos and I'm not sure why, but I do. So there is two coats and it is definitely full coverage and I don't know if you guys can really see the holo in this one, but it is there and it definitely picks up in the sunlight. However, it is kind of set back in the polish if that makes any sense. So it's not like super rainbowy, but it's there. So you can still see it, but not like in your face, if that makes any sense. So let's look at the swatch. Now this next one is probably my favorite in the collection just because it has such a great formula and it's a really neat color. And this one is called Wicked Liquid. And it is just a really neat kind of a black and green, a golden green actually. Like it is just really neat. And that is one coat and it is full coverage. Like there, there's no way I could see through to my nail whatsoever. It does dry down to kind of like a satiny finish, so obviously I would suggest a top coat if you want it all shiny or matte, of course, if you want it matte. But this is just such an interesting color, and the whole collection is basically made up of blacks, so I like that this one is in here because it is black-based, but the golden and green shimmer in it takes over and creates like a metallic-like feel, and it is just... It's really unique and different, and I'm liking it. And this one is called a Wicked Liquid, and we're good on one coat. So let's look at the picture. <laughs> now we are on to the more glittery part of the video, and this one is called Ash and Burn, which is, I want to kind of describe it as kind of like a curly-like polish, but a bit deeper than a curly polish. And then this one has a lot 
in it actually. It's kind of got like a silver and a coppery and a golden like glitter in it that I will say is quite textured on the nail in this base but it's still is like super gorgeous and a top coat really kind of evens everything out and makes it look really nice on. So there is one coat you can still see through. So we are going to need a second coat. Here we go with that second coat of Ash and Burn. It, the second coat definitely brings this up to full coverage and it puts that shine back on there so you can kind of see what it would look like with a shiny top coat, which is what we're going to see in the swatch photo because it is really pretty and it's just different and it's exciting to see Chana Glees do a polish like this in my opinion. You know, it's a little bit out of the norm for a mainstream, so that's kind of exciting. Next up we have a polish called Preta Potion and this one is a basically a topper. You can build it up, of course, but it is a clear based black micro glitter polish. So I'm going to show it to you just over my naked nail. In today's blog post, I will have it over orange and actually I'll go ahead and insert a picture of that after like as a swatch photo. But here is one coat. As you can see, it goes on kind of patchy. It's definitely not an even distribution of the black micro glitters, but they are so packed in there that if you sponge it on, you would definitely get more of an even coverage. But this one is one, like I said, you could build it up easily and we are gonna go ahead and do a second coat in just a minute to see what happens. But I'm not yet sure how I feel about this one. I feel like it's not necessarily one I'd want to wear over my whole nail, but maybe more of one that I would want to create a glittery gradation down from the cuticle with. I'm not sure. It's just kind of different and there's no like major like sparkle factor in it. So I don't feel like it's that much of a major accent nail really, but I mean, I guess for like real Halloween lovers, this might work. But there is two coats and as you can see, like it covers basically the whole nail. There's still obviously patchy spots that it doesn't count it as like a full coverage in two coats, but you're really close. So, but at the same time, would you really benefit from getting this up to full coverage because it's just black micro glitters? I'm not sure. But I'm sure there are a lot of fun things you could do with this with like sponging it on or with a vinyl or something like that. So there's that. And let's look at it over orange because it is kind of fun and a Halloween festive on orange. Now lastly, we have a polish called Night and Slay. And this is one that could totally be used as a topper. Basically, it is the same one that I just showed you with the back of my black micro glitters, but it also has holo micro glitters in it, which totally change it and take it to the next level. So there is one coat. If you wanted to do it on top of another color, you definitely could. You could put it on a holo and it would give a really cool, like dark holo effect, like perfect for Halloween, but you can build this up, which makes it kind of like one of my favorite things. It looks so cool built up. However, if I was going to wear this one for more than a swatch photo, or as an accent nail, I would definitely want to peel off base because this is glitter filled and it's not going to be the most fun thing in the world to remove. But as you can see, like I said, with that first coat, it is just, it's, it's very evenly distributed in my opinion. And there's a lot on there. So we're definitely going to be able to build this one up real easily and it create a major fun look. Okay, it is now time for that second coat of it and whoa like that just finalizes it and I realize it got a little thick over there but of course like I mentioned with the last glittery polish you could totally sponge these on and get the same amount of coverage however this one does do really well in just that two coats and because it is such a packed glitter you definitely want to tap the edge of your nail just to prevent snagging because trust me if you forget that's never fun <laughs> but yeah this one I really like, I feel like Chana Glaze does these types of glitters really well and they always do them around Christmas and I always love them. They're a pain to remove with like remover, but if you wear a peel off base, you can totally do it and it's so worth it because they are gorgeous. But here is two coats of Night and Slay. Okay, here is your final look at all of the polishes that we just looked at. Overall, I feel like this is a fun take on a Halloween collection, and I feel like there is enough of variation in the collection as well, because at first when I heard it was going to be all blacks, so I was like, eh, 
I'm not sure about that, but I do feel like it was kind of a cool, different range of blacks. The standouts for me were Night and Slay and Wicked Liquid for sure. I feel like those are just standout ones. I think I would like Shadies and Gentlemen more if I had maybe the store version. I believe this was the press sample version because its bottle was different than what you see in stores. And the formula on mine just seems off compared to what others have said at theirs are, so I think maybe mine's just like a bad bottle. Not sure on that, so, you know, kind of just make your own judgment call on that one, because my experience wasn't great, but I've heard others were perfectly fine. So, yeah, that is kind of my take on the whole collection. I think it was fun. It's exciting to see Channel Glaze do something different for Halloween. And I was kind of surprised that the normal glow-in-the-dark top coat didn't come back out. But it didn't, and honestly, I'm actually okay with it because these were different enough and unexpected. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I think that's it. Bye!